and the Chiefs, and it comes your way next. It is still summer in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football in the Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with Ben Roethlisberger and the Pittsburgh Steelers. The kicker, Harrison Bunker, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. Here come the Steelers now on offense, led out by a man who's been at the control since 2004. Six-time Pro Bowler, Ben Roethlisberger. And it's not out of the question. It's not out of the realm at all to wonder if this might be the final season for Big Ben, either in a Steeler uniform in the NFL period. He resigned back in March saying, it's my greatest honor to be a Pittsburgh Steeler and give my all for the organization. Had a big year in 2020, 33 touchdowns, just 10 interceptions, and led the Steelers to an 11 and 0 start. You have to think that he would love to end his career the way Peyton Manning and John Elway did, hoisting the Lombardi Trophy and heading off into the sunset. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. There. Maybe a yard up to the 24. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Here's Roethlisberger. It's brought in by Harris. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. The Steeler first down on the pickup of 11 yards. So Charles, first drive here, a little safe completion underneath, maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just... The throw for Clay Poole is intercepted. Picked up by Traverius Ward. Take this one home. It's a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. and Bunker is on for the extra point. And his kick is good to make it 7-0 KC. Back of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. McLeod now on the return. And he returns this to the 22. So Pittsburgh retakes the field for their second offensive possession. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 22. They'll start the drive with Harris. And a short game there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. The linebacker Anthony Hitchens there on the stop. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get on field, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. The second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. But now it'll be third down. This is Chase Claypool on the 
receiving end. And he will have a Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. So, Charles, defensively here, you're going up against a veteran quarterback. He's got a lot of know-how, a ton of savvy, but a guy who's not the most mobile of quarterbacks. What's the plan of attack? You spend all week pumping up your defensive front. Your defensive tackles, your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys who go after the quarterback the most because you know that he's not going to run and beat you consistently throughout the game. You can rush more aggressively off the edge and even up the middle because even if he evades you, he's not going to go very far. You have a lot more confidence going after him in the pocket. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They go play action with Roethlisberger. They'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 43. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. In his fifth year in Pittsburgh, a good bounce back last year for Juju with 97 catches. He must continue to make grabs like that and get upfield. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. They'll toss to Harris. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards to loss, second and 12. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Now they continue a second and 12 after the loss. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The intended receiver out of the backfield was Jalen Samuels. And that'll make it third down. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time it was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Setting up the screen, this is Samuels. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48 yard line. And a loss of three to bring up four. The whole idea of the screen pass is to fool the defense in a big way and create a big play. They weren't fooled. Not one <laughs> second, not one bit. How about them figuring it out, diagnosing it, and spilling it for lost yardage? And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. Patrick Mahomes now in his fifth season with the Chiefs, ready to bring out this high-powered Kansas City offense for the first time. Another big year from arguably the best quarterback in the NFL. And while we enjoy his excellence, let's not take it for granted. He threw for over 4,700 yards, second only to Deshaun Watson. 38 touchdown passes and led the Chiefs back to the Super Bowl while completing a career high 66% of his passes. He did have a toe injury during the playoffs that hobbled him, and he had offseason surgery to correct that. We expect this guy to continue to be magnificent. He'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Now Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Alaire. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Finding Edwards Alaire once again. Boy, that's a five-yard loss. Fourth down now. I believe I can see what they were trying to do there, but unfortunately, the back ran out of room. Too close to the sideline. And for defenders, we're often taught 11 on the field. Those sidelines can become the 12th defender. It worked to the defense's advantage on that play. It's just a 32-yard punt with no Let's return. Go. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? The turnover, you just noted it. Punt's better. Right? Punt's better than the turnover. The punt is better on the second one. Now they're open to turn into first downs and hopefully points. 
And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. That was well played there defensively. Two tight ends in the formation, which essentially gave them seven blockers up front. Hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackle through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. On second and 11 now. Roethlisberger. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. Incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. He finds his man, Johnson. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. Here's Jordan Berry now as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? He said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. And he's going to get forward for about five, but that may be coming back. What say you, Mr. Referee? That hold coming from the middle of the line, the center. And it's difficult for him because sometimes you've got people right over you, and as soon as you snap it, trying to get your hands up and block them, you can be a little bit late getting it done. Now Edwards Alaire. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength, he's going to get those tough, pretty yards for you when necessary. The throw over the middle, taken in. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. Looking to throw is Mahomes. This one held in, and again, it's Robinson. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. That's a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Mahomes going to throw. Over the middle complete. It's Robinson. That catch good for only a couple. Second and eight coming up. And again, it's Mahomes. To the right side, it's Kelsey. A solid stiff arm. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First catch on that one for Kelsey, and it's a first down. And these two continue to work so well together. Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. Maybe the best quarterback and tight end in the game today. 105 catches for Kelsey last year. Second among NFL tight ends. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Officially, no gain on the play, and it's second down. Mahomes now to throw. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. The sack by T.J. Watt, or as his mother Connie calls him, Trent Jordan Watt. And the Watt family certainly knows how to get to the quarterback. His brother, J.J., 
He led the NFL in that category twice in 2012 and 2015. And now TJ enters the record books. Led the league in sacks with 15 in 2020, but he plays so hard, he's always around the quarterback. 61 pressures last year, 16 more than the second place finisher. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And to the 46, he goes in no further. So he is well short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Here's Tommy Townsend now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. McLeod to return it. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And the Steelers set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now Roethlisberger, and his throw is going to be incomplete. Eric Ebron is a tight end as intended target. That's their man. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man when in coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. He's able to knock that one away. Incomplete pass on second down. That muddles things a little bit here. This is third and ten. Here's Roethlisberger to throw. He gets it left side to Johnson. And he will have the Steelers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun handoff to Samuels. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Probably no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Another scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. What that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. As a defense, you're more bounce when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. You're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right around the screen. On third down, Roethlisberger. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone, and there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. That'll go as a 46-yard punt with a return of seven, and it's Chiefs football, first and ten. Here's the Kansas set to take over. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need? Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. It was Melvin Ingram that time who shot him to bring him down. The pressure that time right up the middle. He was able to wriggle in there pretty easily and get the sack. Yeah, sometimes you end up getting caught in a little bit of a breakdown about who to block up front, and that creates the gap there. And he took full advantage, got to the quarterback, and finished off the sack. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes, eight yards on the completion, but now they face their down. It's not cool about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. 
Throwing is Mahomes on third. Taking a deep shot here for Hardman. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I'll give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. I usually hesitate when I say a guy's got world-class speed, but this guy might. So let's fire the starter's pistol. Let's go. If you've got him, you've got to try and use him. A lot of anticipation with the ball in the air, but no incomplete. That'll go as a punt of 32 yards. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Steelers ready to take over on offense. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? Well, we're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out. Because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. It's his first catch, and it'll be good for 15 at a first down. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there at finding him in stride for really good yardage. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get it behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. He'll get this to his tight end. That's Pat Fryermuth. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Got what they needed there. The drive continues with a nine-yard pickup. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield anyway Way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going on first down it's Roethlisberger trying to get it to Ebron and it's intercepted picked up by the honey badger Tyron Matthew after one seven nothing on EA Sports Second quarter from Arrowhead. It's the Chiefs in possession. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they've got themselves a 7-0 lead here, but that, you recall, was a defensive touchdown, so still nothing as of yet for this. Oh, oh an absolutely filthy joke. He's got some space now. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run. The first down. Kansas City dropped him a something of a Tyree kill clone. They're still trying to find his exact niche. He did have 41 catches last year, and he makes a nice one there. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They go play action. Now Mahomes rolling to his left. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. If they're going to get a first down out of this, they're going to have to earn it because there's been tough going in the interior there. And here we are on third and one. Be prepared. Brace yourself. There'll be some contact going on. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive they went three and out. 
So after two first downs, they get another here. First and 10 at the 45. A shotgun snap and a give to Edwards Alaire. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. And when they block on a big time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Here's McKinnon. And he's going to be down at the 35. Game of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards at first down, that fits the bill. On second down, a run with Edwards Allaire. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Brian Edwards Allaire is a do-it-all back, and he did plenty on that run. And as a rookie, 803 yards rushing for the season in Kansas City may look to up his workload a little bit in year two. The last pick of the first round in 2020, he more than justified that selection with his ability to run the football and catch it out of the backfield. He juked him and able to work his way down to the 16. And a lot of times these plays they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage in here. They got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. And they're going to lose some on this play. Being knocked back to the 18. Kelsey, the intended receiver there, and it's third and four. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Robinson. And he will have the Chiefs first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Now a first and ten at the 11. Mahomes to throw once more. And it's caught. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the wall. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And Demarcus Robinson may be unheralded in that Kansas City track squad of wide receivers, but he's been dependable for these Chiefs the past few years. <laughs> Here's Mahomes to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Clyde Edwards Eater. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. First and goal. Forget running the football. Forget establishing anything. Just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah. I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard right there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. Extra point by Bunker is on target. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Pato. The football will come out to the 25 as McLeod will not return it. And the Steelers getting set and ready for their next possession. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects it. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, they'll throw four or five picks. And while they'll hurt their team, they won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something which is wrong with the ball or the wind or something is funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Roethlisberger. Open man completes it to Claypool. And he is finally out of bounds all the way 
down let's at go, the 30. Boys, yeah, boys, CD, it's one thing to watch a great run, but when it's a great run with broken contact, it's like a cherry on top. That was a nice play. Yeah, and that's a run born out of ferociousness. He took on that initial contact and in his mind just screamed out of my way and kept right on going and wound up turning it into a big play. And the next-gen stat CD, it shows us he covered better than 20 yards after the initial contact was made. Now a first down carry for Harris. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain on that run. And while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about a different style of running in order to get this guy going. Here's Roethlisberger. And he finds his target, Ebron. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 12-yard line. But give them credit for a good read right there because they read the man coverage on the right side and sent the tight end a few steps down the field and then angled him to the left on a crossing route. He was able to get enough separation on this play to turn it into a nice game. On first down, it's Samuels. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop his shoulder or free or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Chase Claypool, the intended target. And it's third and four. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Having a lot of point yet flying to the football. Time is almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Now it's Roethlisberger. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Jared Reed drops it for a loss of 14 yards. And it also brings up fourth down. Off the left, upright, and it carries away no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So he had a chance to get him on the board there, but unfortunately that big yellow metallic structure in the back of the end zone, it had other plans. And that's why we're kickers watching it the whole way saying, oh no, don't hit it. That's... And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. It looked like the defense, they were ready for that one. Really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball. He could throw every move in the book at him. They were there, and they tackle him for a loss. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Chiefs on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got a bump down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Mahomes now on first down. It's Hill, complete. A little juke. Room to run inside the 40. And finally, down at the 36 yard line. Another strong gain on the last two points. They moved it a combined Another huge season last year for Tyree Kill. Teaming up with Mahomes. Close to 1,300 yards receiving. 15 touchdowns as well. That was second only to Devontae Adams. We know about the big plays. Also makes it dependable. Chain moving catches as well. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll swing this one out to Edwards Alaire. And he gets it down a yard or two shot of the 30 before he's out of bounds. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field 
can really generate big plays for the offense. His first catch, good for nine in the first down. They'll run. It's Edwards Alaire. It's Melvin Ingram on the table. That call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Second down, back to Edwards Alaire. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out of the field for a long time, and that last run, they just cut right through them. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. Now here's Mahomes. Completes it to Hardman. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Andy Reid, some say always unpredictable, and here he says, we're going for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Mahomes. He's got his man. That's Hardman. And he's able to pick up the first down before he's tackled right at the 10. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. Working his way in there that time, Melvin Ingram to make the stop. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there, forcing a loss on that play. Elvis is intercepted, intended for Hill. It's Devin Bush, the linebacker, who picks it. And this one will be brought back to the 22. Boy, that's the kind of interception that could save a game right there. They're already down two scores. Huge play, slowing down what was going against them. I was thinking the same thing. You get down three scores there at this stage, could be in for a long ball game. Juju Smith-Schuster and the rest of this offense heading back out there. They've got to be thinking, how can we get him a little bit more involved here? Second quarter, you're down, and really, he's been out of the mix. I would agree with that, and oftentimes you hear, well, we're just taking it. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. It was Frank Clark that time. He got him there to bring him down. Good play there by Frank Clark. Only six sacks in 2020, the fewest since his rookie year of 2015. But don't let that small number fool you. Provides consistent pressure against quarterbacks, a pro bowler the last two seasons. Throwing on second and long. Roethlisberger in trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And I do believe the offense got this back. Goodness, they did. Their own one-yard line is where they got it back, cutting it close here. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. We'll remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over... We step aside. Here's Jordan Berry now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Chiefs will have excellent field position here as they take over. Patrick Mahomes on his way out for their next drive. He's got the lead here in the second quarter. He's thrown the touchdown, but also an interception. As a quarterback, is that interception, even though you're playing one. Now Robinson coughs up the football. It's loose, and it's picked up by the Steelers. There he goes, right side. And he takes it back to the house. Oh, 
unit. Chris Boswell now for the extra point. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Here's Nicole Hardman. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And he will bring it back to the four-yard line. So a turnover there on the kickoff. And don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting because when you're trolling in the game, these are the mistakes that you're playing for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Now Roethlisberger to throw. And in for the Steelers' touchdown. Eric Ebron from four yards out. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury, and it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself up there for an easy touchdown. Extra point now by Boswell. And, ho, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Byron Pringle now to return it. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. And they've got to be still reeling from the events of a moment ago. What a turn on that last play. You're knocking on the door. You're about to take it in. You think you're going to get some points? Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. T.J. Watt picks up his second sack of the afternoon. He was still looking through his progressions and going through his receiver options, and while he was doing that, the defense got to him quickly in the pocket. And it was a great example of zone coverage. Well executed, well coordinated. All the receivers were covered, and he couldn't evade the rush back in the pocket. We own them. 41 Mike. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And this will go as a short gain on what will be the final act of this first half. So we've come upon halftime here in KC.